Hey everybody, Happy New Year. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. This is 5 Minutes with Ben. And today we're going to look at a game that was played uh, over 110 years ago. Um, Capablanca was white. Uh, this was in 1910, so he wasn't the world champion yet, against Charles Jaffe. Um, Charles Jaffe was a very interesting character. Um, I recommend you go to Wikipedia and look him up. He was born in um, what's, what's now Belarus, and he spent most of his life in New York. Uh, he died in Brooklyn, and he played coffee house chess, and he played in big tournaments, and he scored reasonably well. Um, he played matches with some of the best players, and he was an interesting guy. So anyway, look him up, uh, J-A-F-F-E, was an interesting player. This was played in uh, New York State uh, playoff um, winter championship from 1910. Uh, this was played in March. And uh, Capablanca was white. Uh, the game didn't last very long, but okay, that's why it's called Five Minutes with Ben. Okay, so they transposed into a semi Slav because uh, Capablanca started out with the Kali uh, E3, and then after C6, he played C4. So now they just transpose into a normal semi Slav position. Um, this, this opening could be played today. Uh, most people play D takes C4 here, but Bishop D6 is a move. Um, castles, castles. That was a favorite of Arthur Bisgeyer. He played Bishop D6 a lot, the 50s and 60s. Okay, so E4, they trade everything. And black played Knight F6, Bishop C2. And up until now, the game is pretty reasonable. Maybe you could argue with Knight F6. But uh, now black started to play um, less than accurate. So he got punished quickly since, you know, Capablanca was nobody to, nobody to sneeze at because, you know, he had like nice clothes on, so you wouldn't want to sneeze on him. Played h6, which is, I mean, it stops bishop g5, but it, 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 does, it does weaken the king's side, which black gets punished for later. Okay, Capablanca decided if he couldn't play bishop g5, then he would fianchetto his bishop, b3, bishop, b2. Jaffe did the same, b6, bishop, b2, bishop, b7. Capablanca lined his queen and bishop up. So now, if I had the black pieces, I would be very worried about white playing d5, and then bishop takes f6 and queen h7 mate, trying to remove the knight from defending this mate. Um... And he made another mistake here. Probably the losing move, I would say. He played the move uh, g6, which really weakens his king. Uh, Capablanca played rook e1. He's thinking at some point maybe he'll play rook takes e6 and queen takes g6 if he gets a chance. And he'd also like to play knight e5. So rook e1 makes sense. Uh, knight h5 is not a good move. Uh, Black wants to play knight f4. Capablanca found an interesting way to prevent knight f4. Played bishop c1. Um, and now the point is, if you play knight f4, I can trade, and then I can definitely take on e6, because if you take, it's it's just checkmate. Black needs the knight on f6 or h5 to defend against such things. Um, so instead of knight f4... Uh, Jaffe played a, another suspicious move, King G7. And finally, Capablanca is able to play Rook takes E6. Um, so, I mean, I guess if I was black, I mean, I you can't take this because this is just checkmate. So I don't know. I, I don't know what I would do with black here. It's completely losing now. He played knight back to F6. Capablanca added more fuel to the fire, played knight e5. Um, another mistake from Jaffe, although this is already losing. I'm sure this is plus four or something. Uh, Black played c5, and Capablanca played a very nice combination here. He played bishop takes h6 check. Uh, it doesn't matter what Black does, but Black lost the quickest way. <laughs> 
Uh, he played king takes h6. And then Capablanca sacrificed another piece. Knight takes f7 check. And now we're threatening queen takes g6 mate. Um, I guess you can, you can stop queen g6 mate with king h5. But then it looks like queen h3 is mate. So, I mean, queen g6 would still win. But queen h3 is mate in one. If you play king g7, king h7, or rook takes f7, queen g6 is made against all three. So you can almost pre-move queen g6. Uh, so in this position, Jaffe resigned. Like Capablanca just overpowered his opponent. And I sort of like games where super GM is playing a weaker player and just pushes him off the board because we don't, see that very often when two super GMs play. We see a lot of draws, and when somebody wins, usually it's very long and, and tedious. And this was just, you know, Capablanca's too good for Jaffe. So anyway, I would recommend looking him up on Wikipedia. He's an interesting guy. But this game, you know, he got completely crushed. Well, I hope you like this five minutes with Ben. It's the first one of the new year. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time with more 5 Minutes with Ben. Bye.